Hello Ninjas, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well out there in the world. Today is a special day because there's a restaurant, Culver's, finally open after about eight months of acknowledgement. So we heard about this back in, I think, November or December, and it was postponed on the opening date because, as you guys know, COVID. And today is finally the day for the grand opening, and I am mucho, mucho excited because I've never experienced Culver's. And I have wanted to for quite some time, but there's not any in this area. The closest one, I think, is going to be in West Palm, and that's like an hour away, and that's quite a distance, but we have one here now, and I'm very excited. I already made a list of the things I'm going to be ordering. It's a lot, so we're not going to go insane and eat the whole menu, but we're going to get some of everything, and I'm going to give you my input on this restaurant. Butter burgers, never had that before. But with all that said, let's go ahead and pick up our food and bring it home. And it's only a mile away from here, which is awesome. We're gonna be here for a very long time. So as you guys can see, we are in a pretty long line. I want to say there's at least, I want to say like 18 people in line. It's almost like Chick-fil-A status, except I think it's a little bit more. I think this is probably going to be like an hour journey, even though we're less than a mile from my house. But it is what it is. Grand opening. A lot of people have the same idea as me. So we're going to get through this together. And not to mention the amount of food I'm about to order. I'm sorry, Culver's. One eternity later. Can I please have the original butter burger? The Wisconsin Swiss melt? Oh, that's gonna be it. Okay. All right, so we have the drinks and they're gonna bring out the food. It's kind of cool how it's set up because they have like three lanes just for people sitting here waiting for the food. Let's go ahead and taste the shake because we know it's gonna melt before we even get the food. This is the vanilla Snickers concrete mixer, if I'm correct. I still have my Invisalign in right now, but it's okay. I'm not eating any food. Anyways, now we wait so much. What's your party for? I do YouTube videos. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat all this. Oh, mukbang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it your first time traveling? Trying it? Yeah, yeah, because I've never, because you guys, um, Culver just wasn't around yeah. this area at all. So I was, I've been waiting. It was new to me too, but it's very good. I've been waiting for like the past, like eight months for you guys to open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Have a good one. Okay, we have our collection of food and I am super happy about it. <laughs> it smells ridiculously good. I can smell the onion rings. All right, I've been waiting eight months for this, damn it. I'm so happy about this. So even if it doesn't taste that good, which I'm sure it's gonna taste good, I'm gonna love it. All right guys, so we're back at home and we have all our food. First thing I gotta say is the aesthetics part of the packaging is on point. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I think the packaging and everything looks great and everything was well organized in the bag and I think everything is here. Because if you guys have been watching the channel for some time, you guys know, I wanna say 80, 85% of the time that I pick up some fast food, I always have something in the order incorrect, and it seems like everything is correct. So we spent about $55 on all the food, which is about 10 items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 items, and the menu is quite extensive. There's a lot of stuff on the menu. So I wanted to pick and choose from each category. We have some chicken, we have some burgers, some fish, and some of their side items, which is these cheese curds. And I really, really, really love those cheese curds. I've picked at them this whole time, but it reminds me of a mozzarella stick just in ball form, and I'm all for mozzarella sticks. The first thing I want to start with is the spicy crispy chicken sandwich. You guys know if you guys have been watching that I am on a quest to find a chicken sandwich that can compare to Popeyes. For this chicken sandwich, it just comes with chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, uh, no mayonnaise. I wish I would have had some mayonnaise, but that's okay. But let's go ahead and taste this. Mm. What? All right, so after a few bites of the chicken sandwich, I think it is a pretty good chicken sandwich. It's definitely not on Popeye's level. Like, let's just be honest. I don't think there's a chicken sandwich I can compare to that, at least nothing that I've tasted so far. But I feel like this chicken is good. I like the bun, it's soft, it's nice. And the chicken is juicy. I wanna put some ketchup on this. I'll just eat it as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a seven out of 10. Mm. It really is really juicy.
All right, so the chicken sandwich is done. Also, I forgot to mention these fries, the crinkle fries, these are really good. Mm. So when it comes to crinkle fries, most people say that Shake Shack has the best crinkle fries in the game. I've had Shake Shack fries, they are pretty good. But I gotta say, these fries, I gotta say they're better. Now they're just normal fries, they don't have any seasoning on them, but they're crispy on the outside, they're lightly salted, and they're perfectly cooked. I gotta say, for crinkle fries, and I'm not a huge fan of crinkle fries, these are probably the best ones I've had. So we'll just put these to the side. I want one of these burgers for sure. Oh, this is done. We need to try one of these burgers. So this is going to be, I gotta figure out, what, where's my phone? The Mushroom and Swiss Burger. I'm a huge, huge fan of Swiss cheese. I think it is amazing on burgers. And there's mushrooms in here as well. I could not resist this. Oh, also forgot to mention, it's butter burger. So I don't know what a butter burger is, but apparently Culver's is famous for their butter burgers. So I'm interested to see if I can taste any difference. So here we go. I gotta say, this is a fantastic burger. Uh, I didn't show you guys the aesthetics of the burger. It looked really clean, nice presentation. I have to give them credit. And the burgers, I don't know if I, it tastes more seasoned. It has a little more flavor, like a pop of flavor. I don't know if it's from specific seasoning that they use for this particular burger, or if that's how all their burgers taste. We will find out when I get into the normal, original Culver's burger. Oh, look at that, there's some cheese pull right there. Okay, I see you. I love me some cheese pull. So as far as the burger, I wanna give this like, this is really good. I wanna give this like an eight out of 10. It's really good. And the mushrooms, I really enjoy them. All right, let's go ahead and taste some of these onion rings. I've already tasted just a few of them. The onion rings are good. I've had these for now, I wanna say like 30 minutes sitting on the table. You guys know I gotta set up and get some B-roll shots. I gotta say these onion rings have held up. They're not even soggy. They still have a crisp to them. It might be because of the batter they're using. I I think I like the other batter better. It's kind of like a more bready batter and this is kind of a more um, a wet flour base, but I gotta say these are pretty good. Mm. Regardless, I love me some onion rings. I'm just gonna take out the onion rings. There's no point in just keeping them here. All right, where do we go from here? I know where we're going from here. It's we're gonna do the shrimp. So here we have um, six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. And you have the option to, I think, go eight pieces or 12 pieces. Uh, I, I, we went with six, obviously. And they do give you a side of some cocktail sauce. That is a must with some fried shrimp. I can't remember the last time I've actually had fried shrimp, at least on this channel. Let's go ahead and dig into this. Ooh, that is really nice breading over this. They do provide you a mini lemon here. We're gonna squeeze it over there. I'm gonna try it without the marinara sauce, just by itself. In case you guys were wondering, they flatten the shrimp and they make a nice breading that way. Right. As far as the shrimp goes, I think they're tasty. They don't taste greasy at all, and I like the Fridness. Where do we move on now? We're kind of going through this pretty quickly. So we have a Reuben and then we have a Melt. 
I think this one's gonna be Reuben and we're gonna go that way. I'm not a huge fan of sauerkraut, but I wanted to give it a chance. I don't even know the last time I had a Reuben, if I've ever had one, period. So here's what it looks like. You have a generous amount of corned beef and you do have a generous amount of sauerkraut on the bottom. Let's go ahead and give this one a whirl. Smells pretty good. Not my favorite. I, I guess I just, I thought maybe my taste buds would change because sometimes one thing that I used to not like, I start liking, but I just can't get into that sauerkraut. I do like the corned beef, but the sauerkraut, ah, I just can't get into it. I don't know what it is. I think it's the sourness that throws me off. And that's probably why I'm just not into sauerkraut to begin with. But this time, no food will be left behind. We are gonna eat this, unlike my last damn video. Oh, I'm so glad I'm done with that. And this is still frozen. Mmm. I love me some Snickers. I won't rate the Reuben since um, I kind of went in there knowing that I probably wasn't gonna like it. But for you Reuben lovers out there, you might enjoy that very much. This is gonna be the original Culver's Burger. I opted out of the pickles. I opted out of the mustard. So let's go ahead and look at this. And I threw some grilled onions in there. And I have to mention, I did not get a cheese Culver's Burger. So it's not supposed to come with cheese, but this does have cheese on it. And you know what? I'm not complaining. They didn't miss anything. They just added something extra. Also, I gotta say, the burger I ordered is supposed to come with one patty and it looks like I have two patties here. So they gave me an extra burger patty and they also gave me two slices of cheese. I also gotta mention that the burger patties, um, they kind of remind me just from the looks of it of Shake Shack burgers. Earlier, I just mentioned that it reminded me of Shake Shack burgers. No, that was incorrect. It reminds me of the burger patties from Five Guys. Just pretty much the construction of them. I think the burger patties are good. I just, I don't know. I can't really taste butter. I don't, maybe you shouldn't be able to taste butter in a burger patty because that would be weird if it was just all buttery. But I don't notice it. It tastes just like a, a well-seasoned burger patty, which I am enjoying. But for this burger, I think it's good all the way around. It has the grilled onions in there and putting grilled onions in any burger will enhance it by 10 times because I'm a huge onion lover. Let's go ahead and finish this. Hi. How are you? Oh. Ah. <laughs> what? Oh, are you excited to see me now? <laughs> Show them what they're missing out on. Here we have the chicken tenders. We're actually going to put that to the side and we're gonna have the patty melt and save the chicken tenders for last. Well, I love patty melts. I wish we had a Jack in the Box here in South Florida. We don't. One thing I loved about Jack in the Box is their sourdough jack. Personally, I loved the sourdough jack. I used to get that quite frequently when I lived in Las Vegas. It was one of those items that every time you go, you get the same thing over and over. That's what I got. So I like patty melts and this one is almost gonna have cheese pull. It would have had cheese pull if this was fresh. And this is gonna be a Wisconsin Swiss melt. It looks like it has a generous amount of cheese, grilled onions. We have two burger patties and then you have the bread that's been grilled on both sides. I really wanted to like this burger. It's not my, I think it's, pro, other than the sauerkraut, I think this might be the second least favorite. Reason being, the cheese has solidified. It's not melted and obviously that's my fault because 
you know, it takes me a while to eat these burgers and sitting here, it's gonna cool down. But what I think I don't like about this is the melt bread that they use. I don't know what kind of bread it is, but it's not my favorite. I see that there's like oregano seeds on the inside of it. So I'm assuming it's like some specialty bread that they use. But personally, I'm just not a fan of the bread. I think that's what's throwing it off for me. But I will finish this now and then we're going to, we're getting close to finishing it off. So we're getting close to the end. Now we're gonna go ahead and taste some of these chicken tenders, buffalo chicken tenders. I wanna taste some just like this. And I can see the sauce on the inside of it. Oh, that has like, mm, that has a nice spice to it. So we've tried everything from Culver's and pretty much, I think it's a pretty good place. I would definitely go back again. There's so much things that I didn't get a chance to taste. I'm interested to try their fish sandwiches or their other burgers. They have quite a variety. Also, they have like an unlimited amount of shake options. They have so much different candies and flavors that you can try. So I'd like to get creative with that one later on, but we will definitely go back there sooner than later. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this. All we have is, this small bag of fries. And then we have, we actually have quite a bit of these cheese curds. I'm just gonna empty them just like that. Is that all of them? We got two more for here. Mm. Huh? Ow! <laughs> oh, I bit my lip. I bit it in the same exact time. Mm. I bit it in the same exact spot I bit it last time. That does not feel good at all. Oh yeah, I'm bleeding. Uh -huh. We're gonna go ahead and one bite these fries. It must be annihilated. Ah. And then now for these cheese curds. These cheese curds taste so much better when they're fresh, just like all food. And lastly, we have the shake. I don't know if I rated this earlier. I don't think I did in the car. I would give the shake, honestly, maybe a nine out of 10. I can't wait to try their other shakes too. There's so much Snickers on the bottom that you need like another drink to eat that. Mm. Done. <coughs> And that's a wrap at Culver's. Expect to see some of this in the future. For the most part, I pretty much liked everything except for the few things I criticized and that's just my own personal faults. If you guys have tried Culver's yourself, let me know what your favorite item is from there and maybe I'll check your item out if I didn't already have it on the table. Anyways, I wanna thank you guys for watching as always. I truly do appreciate the support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.